Welcome back to my YouTube family. I'm your instructor. My name is Rashid and today I'm going to teach you something really cool that can help you to earn money as a freelancer or impress your boss at work. Well, in this episode, I will show you how to create a fully automated invoice system in Excel using the power of AI of ChatGPT and VPA codes. So let's get started and start building. So first of all, open a new Excel file. Once you have done that, click on file then select save as then this browse option i'm going to name this file automated invoice system from this drop down menu make sure to select this excel macro enabled workbook and save this next i'm going to type invoice in the first row then i will be selecting the cells from a to d and i'm going to select this margin center i'm making it 14 making it bold and from here I will be selecting this headings. Now let's add some important details in this cell. I'm going to type invoice number. Next, this is date. Next, this is customer. Then here in the row number eight, I will be typing this is product, unit price, quantity, and this is total amount. Now I'm going to right click on this column A. This is column width, and I will make it 20. Then I will be selecting these rest columns right click on it this is column width and i will make it 10 now here i'm going to type this is my subtotal this is discount these are taxes and this is grand total so now here i'm going to type is equal to and i have to multiply the unit price with the quantity so this will give me the total amount i'm going to copy and paste this formula here now here i want the subtotal so here i'm going to type is equal to sum and i will sum the amount of all these transactions then this is grand total here i will be subtracting the discount and the taxes from the subtotal so it will give me the grand total so now i'm selecting this invoice and i will press ctrl 1 from my keyboard and i will be selecting this line and here i want to enter the line on the bottom of this invoice so that's why i will be selecting this bottom okay similarly i have to apply a line on its bottom control one and i'm selecting this line and i will be applying this line on this bottom now i'm selecting all of these cells again i'm pressing control one from keyboard and i will be selecting these dotted lines then i will be applying this dotted line in the center and in the bottom okay similarly i'm selecting this one and i'm applying this same formatting here and same formatting here as well make them bold similarly make it bold and i will be selecting this heading now i'm going to visit this view and i will disable these grid lines this is my invoice so now i'm going to add one sheet here this is my database so now in my database i have to store this invoice number date and customers then i have to store this subtotal discount taxes and grand total So now I'm going to select these headers under home. I'm going to change its background color to black and text color to white. Make it bold. Now I'm selecting this row number three and changing its background color to this 15% darker. Now I will copy row number two and row number three and I will be selecting rows from row number four downwards and i will paste ctrl alt v and i have to paste the format so i'm selecting this format okay then under this view i will disable this grid lines now my this sheet is also ready now the next thing is i want unit price and quantity is empty then these cells must be visible as empty so for this i'm going to this chat gpt and here i will type the addition of cells this b9 and c9 b9 and c9 then this formula give me empty cell so write this excel formula now i will copy this formula and i will paste it here now if i will type here the unit price of 1200 then this is showing me this formula if these cells are empty now this is showing nothing similarly if this b9 cell is empty then 
this formula give me empty cell make this excel formula i will copy this formula and i will paste it here and here i will apply the if error formula zero i want empty so i will give it the empty now here i am going to copy this one and similarly i will be copying this one and here i will be typing is equal to and i will equal to this cell to my this cell similarly here i want to display the date so i will copy this as formula copy this as formula and if here i have to show the value of subtotal so i will type is equal to and i will be selecting this cell and i will copy and i will paste it here so now first of all i'm going to enter one invoice here so this is my invoice number one and here i have to enter the date so i'm typing my today and the customer is the cash customer product is the keyboard and the unit price is 1200 quantity is one mouse 500 quantity is four so whenever you will be making invoice the invoice data that you have to store in the database will be here now i have to write a code where from this invoice sheet i will copy this data and i will paste it here in this database so i'm going here and i'm going to type invoice sheet you have to copy data from range of this g4 to g10 g4 to g10 then you have to visit database sheet and then in this sheet you have to find the last row then paste this range as transpose because in invoice sheet data range is in column and i have to paste it as row into database sheet make a vba code for this search it now i will copy this code then i'm going to this insert i will be selecting this text box here i will be typing submit make it bold then i'm going to this shape format this shape outline make it black shadow selecting this one offset bottom right and text center align and middle align now i'm going to right click on it this is assign macro this is new and here i will be pasting that code delete this one and delete this one save it close it now if i will press this button so basically this code is pasting the link but i want it to paste as values in this database so for this as you can see this is pasting excel paste all but i want to replace it with paste as values so i'm copying this one and i'm typing paste this as values and revised this code now again i'm copying it and i'm going back to my sheet right click on it assign macro add it and i will replace this one delete this one and delete this one as well save it close it remove this one so now again i will select this submit data has been copied and transposed successfully as values now you can see my data is here now i'm going to make another invoice this is invoice number 2 this is cash and i'm having these all transactions in this invoice and a discount of 500 and a tax of 200 so my this invoice is ready now i will press this submit so data has been copied and transposed successfully as values now i'm visiting this database so my this invoice number 2 is also pasted here now i'm selecting these values and i will change its color to white if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with others and subscribe to my channel for more amazing episodes. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Keep learning and keep growing. Goodbye.